Lois is Sammy. Mm, Gwenny likes doing work too. So, um, thought of my day is you shouldn't know better. Get really clear on where you are shoulding yourself to see how this goes. Yeah, you like talking too? Hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Lola. Lola. You shouldn't know better. So it's when we start going, oh, I know this. Why it's shouldn't I? Why didn't I do that? I should have done better. I've fallen short of this perfect mother I said I was going to be. The point is that we... Almost. Can I go this way so I can still see me? The point is that we... Everything is neutral until we attach meaning to it, right? And that no. is the same for... Oh. No. Is that not true? Mm. 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 So let me get my thoughts back again. So everything is neutral until we attach meaning to it. Can I just finish this and then I'll come back? To no. You? Oh, you want to be in it. What about me? Mm. <laughs> you can see your face. No. All right, how about I stroke your feet while I talk? And then you could talk. I could talk, and then you could say something. No. Or I could do it this way so we can see both of us. No. See, then we can still see you. finished just yet. We can't pick Lola and Jade up yet. Later today we can. No! We can. No! Mm. Mama! So we're having a very toddler day today. Oh. Aren't we? We've had lots of feelings this morning and we're still working through them. Oh, and there's the thermo for dinner. It's all happening at once. On a live. But I plan Ooh, to be educational. It's turn. It's turn. <laughs> Shall we go and hit that off in a minute? This. Shall I get up and hit it off? This. Yeah, and then we'll come back here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll go do it. What I was popping on here to say was something I was reminded of in coaching this morning, which is everything is neutral until we attach meaning to it. So you shouldn't know better because whatever your um like the video i did yesterday on feelings of feedback not a truth they're just taking us to the what next bit you shouldn't know better the whole point is that you get there as a way of like going this bit here and we shame ourselves out of it versus going oh this is the thing that i'm asking myself to grow through or the thing that i'm really ready to let go of so we have to go backwards to be able to go forwards right and that's the point of emotion is it brings us to that midpoint 
where we get to look at this thing constructively that's going on, perhaps we don't even like or feel shameful about and tease out, why don't we like it? What's the story? What does it mean for me? Where does it come from? Where is it representative of, of my own mother or my own experience growing up? Because that's the story, not the thing. We've attached meaning because the thing is neutral, right? The expression, the emotion is neutral. It's the backpack that we've like attached to it or the, you know, the sloth that we Velcroed around us that is what actually is the thing that we're feeling the repulsion or the, or the destruction towards. Yeah, you can jump on that. Hang on. There we go. And you're back. Yeah, you are. So, um, ah, where did you find that? No, I don't know. On the floor? Yes. <laughs> okay. It's sugar. I see that. It tastes Hmm. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? So she's got some big feelings and we didn't quite get there with them. Well, we haven't yet today. So we're getting all these little moments or little practices, practice ones that like, you know, all these little things that aren't quite right. You know, her pillow isn't quite fluffed the right way in her environment. And so we have all these mini opportunities to let it out, which we clearly haven't done thoroughly because she's gone looking for some sugar. <laughs> <laughs> right the sweetness and she has found an old dirty packet off the floor so, uh, uh, I, I, from the weekend. that's pretty gross and here we are baby number four so it's worth our looking for when our children are really asking for sweet things too that they've actually got feelings and sweetness is a way of soothing it of getting sweetness of life but Eventually, we will get back to my whole point in this live, <laughs> which was we have to go backwards to be able to go forwards. So the thing that you're really not enjoying, the emotion you keep running into is not a sign that you have failed. So often we run this because our story that we are running from around this is so horrific for us in many forms that when we run into it we kind of take ourselves off this pedestal so either we've succeeded or we failed based on whether we've had this experience of this emotion or not which is just another form of perfectionism another form of the shadow self coming out because we run all these stories there's these pieces and places of us that are not okay and when they come out that we have failed and we run with the story that we took meaning and attached to and we say well now it's going to be like that for our kids or for my partner or you know whatever the story is that we're running but the point is, you ran that story and it kept you safe, it kept you motivated and striving towards the things that you needed to do to make a really meaningful life. And now it's coming up because that belief that let you do all of those things, you don't need it anymore. And so your higher self goes, pain, this point right here. And that's the red flag moment of the emotion and you get to go backwards and work out what's the, you know, what's the sloth Velcro that I've put around myself and how do I tease that out, go backwards, so that you can be free in that moment from the belief back, and then you please. just get to enjoy its light go side. Back. You get to go, oh, I don't need, that's right, go back. I don't need this to be able to motivate myself towards the things that, that I'm now stepping into becoming and being. I've moved beyond needing that a safety pattern or crux or you know attachment to this emotion in order to achieve and have and do and be the things that I have previously I needed to be and now I'm at this intersection in my I life where care. my awareness is being brought to this one thing that says I don't need it anymore so here you go this thing pay attention let go of the backpack that you've carried because you don't need it now you get to do it more consciously but because we found this creative adaptation in the backpack that we carried with this attachment to the emotion, right? The belief, the backpack that we carried, because we creatively maneuvered ourselves around the experience of this emotion, now we come crashing into it. We've got to learn it in a whole new way, which is when it gets really painful in parenting or in relationship or, you know, life in general. And so what we really want to be able to do is recognize with a lot of love and compassion that this is us learning something we have never learned before because we had all these creative ways of 
pushing it away, moving away from it, moving around it, um, dealing with it in a different way. And now all of a sudden, for the first time in our life, we have to develop a new way of being, of understanding it, of reprogramming it, of laying down the train track in our brain that says, here's how we move with this. We've never done that before. So we have to go backwards to the point where we picked up this belief to reprogram it in order to be able to move forwards. Does that kind of make sense? That's really at the end of this entire situation what I wanted to say. <laughs> we kind of got there, didn't we? I was there. Yeah. So now I'm going to go do some toddler stuff. Toddler stuff. And maybe get to the bottom of the sweetness thing, hey? Yeah? Yeah? All right. I'll see you soon.